G'day team, it's Matt again. Today we're going to talk about using 3D printed moulds to make cast silicon parts. I use it to make O-rings and seals and just random little bits and pieces like that. Today this part's going to be a mould for a seal or a gasket seal uh, to make an internal bladder for a composite part. It's been made out of ABS, it's got a 0.15 step over and 1.2mm thick walls. So already I've cleaned it up with a knife and now first up we're just going to drill some holes. So just clean up the inside of it. I use a bit of the wooden stick just to poke around in there. I have a heap of these from all the uh, resin and mixing and stuff. And we'll need one later on to mix up the silicon for this as well. Um, now you may be able to break it out. Uh, let's clear it up. So you may be able to break it out, but in uh, there you've got some little holes. Hey, focus. There we go. Little holes. Uh, so they need to be drilled out to size. Well, they are at size, they need to be cleared because 3D print doesn't really come through at the top here. So. Uh, let's do that. Welcome back to the bench. The hole drilling is done. If I position it right, you should be able to see some uh, light through some of those holes. So those three sets of three holes that you can see the bench through, that all allow air to escape from the underside of the mold so that you don't get any voids appearing in there. The other three holes there are so I can put a screw into it and then use that to lever it out. Just like the base has three holes in it so I can screw it down to something and clamp it in place. So I've found they do stick before. This time I've reduced the height of the base so it's not as high. You've only got about that much interference there where the thumb, my thumb is. Um, so hopefully it doesn't stick anywhere near as much. To prevent the silicon from sticking, we're gonna to have to use a bit of an anti-seize or a lubricant of some type, a release agent. Uh, in order to do that, we're just gonna use good old fashioned Vaseline, petroleum jelly. It works great. Just take a small bit of it on a brush and then just go around the inside of it. Doesn't matter if there's a little bit too much there, just work it in. And keep brushing around the whole thing. So I should say, I'm not making a high quality part for a custom or anything here. This is just a simple functional seal to push down on something else. Uh, so I haven't bothered about doing any kind of internal surface treatment to that or to the mould. So it's just as is from the printer. All right, we're going to mix up some silicon. I'm using a Dalchem P20 translucent platinum or uh, two-part one-to-one ratio silicon. Uh, I like this stuff because it gives you good control and it's got a decent pot life. Uh, it does have a while to demould, so 24 hours to fully cure. Uh, but I'm not in a rush for this, so we'll just use it anyway. And I have it lying around. So I need about 10 grams. Uh, but I'm going to make 20 because otherwise I won't get the ratios right and it's going to be too much. So I've zeroed out the scales. Probably can't read that. I'll see that from there. But we have way too much. And turns out we're no longer going for 10 grams. We're going for 13.6 per. So if we tear that out. And we're going to need the part A, and we're going for 13.6 grams of part A as well. And we've got 13.5, which is going to be close enough for our purposes. I like to use a straight edge stick for mixing, so I just take a normal tongue depressor, chop her off, and now we can get right into the corners without having any problems. Make sure you get right into those corners down there. I'm gonna mix the whole thing. Yeah, we've got a decent pot life, about 30 minutes on this silicon, so we wanna use it, or we wanna mix it for about two minutes or so. 
just to make sure we get the whole thing fully mixed and we don't have any spots that won't cure. So that just about does it for mixing. I'll give the sides one more scrape down just to get everything right back down to the bottom so we can get as much out as possible. We'll tap our mixing stick off and just putting it down on a clear piece of paper for the moment, or a clean piece of paper if you will, uh, so that we can use it again. So you might not be able to see it, uh, but that's actually chock full of bubbles. And we do not want bubbles in our silicon. It gives a pretty poor mould if you do. So this is my degasser. I use it to get the bubbles out of the resins, silicons and everything else. It's got a really bad lid on it. I'll get around to replacing that one day, but for the moment, it is what it is. This is made out of a big oxygen cylinder that I chopped up. It was in the work scrap metal bin. Um, I've poured my own seal for this. I made that on a CNC router, or made the mold on a CNC router, then poured it. It came out with heaps of porosity and heaps of bubbles in it. So I used that to then uh, degas the next lot of silicon and make a new one. So it works pretty well and it holds vacuum for probably about 12 or 13 hours. All right, so that silicon's degassed. It's nice and clear. It's going to take our pouring stick, mixing stick from before, and gently coax it down into the bottom of the mold. Doing a high pour like this will help alleviate bubbles in the final part, though we're still getting some, which is a little bit disappointing. All right, there are a few bubbles there, but there's nothing really to be worried about, so we're just going to put the mold in now. I'm just going to push it in. And push it till it seats home. All right, now that mold's seated home, you can see through some of these holes here that we've had some of the silicon push out. So that's what we want. We know there's a good pour in there and the whole cavity is full. I'm just going to take this off camera now. I'm going to clamp it down so I don't bump it for the next couple of days. And we'll come back to it when it's cured. Welcome back. It's been more than 24 hours, so now our silicon set. Let's set about demolding it. So you can see here, the silicon's actually gone nice and opaque when it's set, but it's also got no air bubbles in it, which is a good indication that our degassing worked earlier. I don't need to get this part out. It's just fun. Bingo. All right, that was pretty easy actually. So here's our part. All right, so here's our part. It just needs a little bit of a clean up and then we'll be good to go. Alright, so this is actually enough of a clean up for what I'm trying to do with it. If we have a look at the cross section here, on the outside part here we have a locating ring that locates into the mould. And then on the inside part here we have three flanges that are designed to seal onto a latex bladder. If it works, I'll show you how it goes. If it doesn't, I'll pretend like it never happened. <laughs> 